such a healing, beautiful place to be. My nunchucks, I just lost them right down there. <laughs> Look at you, man. Are you so happy? This is amazing. How cool is this? So we're just gonna open up this little magical dinosaur egg here. Last time he did this, it was a bear. Hey, what's up YouTube? Will here and we're back in the car on another hike. We're actually at Little Mount Sai in Washington. To tell you the truth though, this parking lot is packed. I had to sit in line basically to be able to find a parking spot. It's a tiny little one and there's a ton of people here. It's Saturday, so everybody's out hiking right now. So consider that if you're coming to this hike, it's on the weekend, it seems to be pretty packed. We got Otter ready to go, got my backpack all packed up. So let's go explore and see what this is all about. Thanks for joining me, you guys, and let's go get into some trouble. So far, I can say that the trail itself is really pretty. We got these big rocks on the side, with all this moss and a whole bunch of trees around here, kind of creating like a little tunnel. I really like it. it has a good vibe to it, a good feel. Come on, monster, let's go. Ooh, look at this. This is really cool, I really like this. Really beautiful. Let's keep going, monster. Yeah, this is a pretty hike, it really is. All these stones in the path. These big old rocks. And that's gorgeous. So not even five minutes up the trail, it opens up to a nice little viewpoint here. It's really nice, you guys. It's great for people too that, there's some people that don't, let's just say they're physically challenged and it's hard for them to hike like six miles or something. And so when you have hikes like this, I like that because there's certain, you know, it, it opens it up for other people. <laughs> hey, 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 calm down. It opens it up for other people that do struggle with maybe some health issues or, you know, and uh, they want to see a beautiful view, but without having to walk, you know, six to 10 miles or something. So that's kind of cool to note is if you have family or uh, loved ones who, you know, you just want to take a nice little walk with them and get them outside, that not even five minutes up this trail, you immediately have a little viewpoint here. And that's encouraging. We got another little viewpoint next to the one I was just at. Let's see what's over here. I see some people are over there. Let's see what it looks like. I also haven't got my camera stabilizer yet, you guys. I've been shopping around for a good one, doing some research. So I'm trying to, you know, let the GoPro Hero 9, link in the description below, you know, do its its magic here, but also walk carefully and hopefully 
help stabilize some of this footage for you. All right, let's check it out. Nice tree though. Really cool views here. Look at this low hanging branch. Yeah, this is pretty too. I especially like these little flowers. View of the river and the bridge. Well, you can kind of see the river there. Yeah, look at this. These are really pretty. I don't know if you're a flower fan, but I used to be a landscaper and work with a lot of uh, plants in nature, so I really have grown to appreciate them. My mom also taught me to really spend a lot of time in nature and to grow vegetables and flowers and fruits, and I grew up doing all that, so I always take time to try to appreciate the natural foliage and flowers and so forth. in this area it's really cool look at this some sort of hole maybe I shouldn't put my hand up in there but it's kind of tempting what are you guys seeing there Wow, it just goes all the way through. Well, uh, leave me a comment below. How do you think this hole was formed? Was it an alien spaceship? Was it a government experiment? Was it water? Was it an aberration of some sort of erosion that took place over time? Was it a sophisticated drilling system? Hmm, what could have been otter? Spit some wisdom, bro. Tell us some knowledge, my friend. Wow, look at all these rocks. It's like a staircase on this walk. Hike. Hike, walk, whatever. Come on, buddy. Let's go, friend. Again, you guys, I'm just going to have to draw your attention to this sophisticated landscape of rocks and stones and trees and bushes all interweaved together in a poetic form and fashion. Damn, this looks good. This is really beautiful. Some of these hikes I go on, the trails are just like trails, you know, got some trees, got some walking paths and trails and but this one is just beautiful look at this all these root systems spread out over the rock here really cool good boy otter careful big guy uh oh he sees a friend he sees a dog come on buddy let's go leave it let's go come on big guy come on I know, you're tough. He doesn't bite, he's just... No, 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 he's... ...high energy. <laughs> okay. Okay, calm down. All right, have a good one. Stuff like this that really inspires a lot of my art. If you don't know, I'm an artist and I have an artist Instagram and all that kind of stuff. You can follow me in the, in the links in the description below. But stuff like this where you see light that shoots through trees and like lights up leaves and like just creates this beautiful majestic glow. It's really inspired my art quite a bit and being out here in nature and seeing the light and the dark and the contrast is just really inspirational and powerful and makes me want to paint.
All right, you guys, we got a fork in the road here. And to the right, we got Boulder Garden 1.4 and Little Size Summit. So I'm going to go try to go to the Boulder Garden first and then still make it up to the Little Size Summit as well and show you both. And hopefully that all works out with timing and the day and everything else I got to get done still in this evening. So let's go explore. I want to see what this whole Boulder Garden thing is about. Sounds cool to me. Really is a magical day. So gorgeous. Such a healing, beautiful place to be. Off on a little side trail here. Got a big old boulder. Look at that. That's great. If you're a rock hounder or somebody just really appreciates rocks, this hike is good for you. That really is beautiful. That's awesome. Wow. Dang, guys, look at this amazing stone, rock, mountain, hill, boulder. This thing is so big. That's amazing. Let me give you a little idea here. There's Will Brown. Look at that boulder. It's extraordinary. Hey you guys, we're up on this trail and Otter here is on high alert, big eyes, barking into the woods, acting like there's a predator close by. Last time he did this, it was a bear. And where do you want to go, bud? You come this way? He's telling me don't go. He's scared, his mannerisms. So, I'm going to listen to his wisdom, because he is scared, scared, scared. His hair is a standing on end. And it might be bear, it might be cougar, but either way, last time he did this, we ran into a giant bear that was like seven feet tall. And thank God it ran, but it would have just, it would have killed. So I'm going to listen to Otter's wisdom on that you guys maybe another time we'll come to the boulder area and i'm gonna hike back and go up to the to the other side because otter's really afraid here and i don't want to pull him into his fear and like i said he senses stuff that i just don't and he never does this over other hikers bigger dogs only big predators you can see him and he's just pulling he's like get me the heck out of here it's one of the reasons why I love having a little dog like this that can detect bears and things. I can't see. I just don't have that ability. Like I can't see them. And, but when it does happen, it's nice just to avoid the situation. Me and my brother, actually I think it was on the Klee Elm, Klee Elm uh, Lake video. You can watch how Otter kind of saved my brother and I when we were walking through those woods and we came across a big bear but we couldn't even see the bear for the longest and otter was acting like this and barking and barking and then the thing stood up it was giant it was huge and it just ran from from us but it was right next to my brother and uh and so yeah i try to listen to otter's wisdom because he won't do that with anything else other than big predators sometimes it's not worth it i've walked right next to bears i've been surrounded by bears i've 
all that kind of stuff. And majority of the time they never attack, but when Otter gets like that, I try to listen to him too because animals have a different sense. All right, you guys, so we got a uh, little Sai Summit, 1.6 miles. Let's, let's get it. The sun's out beautiful. I'm ready for this. I'm ready to see this. It's gonna be good. Come on, Otter, let's go, buddy. Good boy. Seem to have a fallen tree in the way of our path. So we'll just clear the path for the hikers here. Good enough, Otter. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, bro. I find it kind of funny, you guys. Kind of mobbing around out here. I got like a machete out. That's like we ran into that weird predator situation earlier. And I got nunchucks around my neck. People must be looking at me like, what the hell is this guy doing? He's out here like, Wah! with a crazy little raging chihuahua. It's good stuff. Got a few mushrooms here, actually on the side of the trail, all beat up and broken. Otter peed on them, so that's good. Just a lot of walking right now, guys. Show you something good when we get there. Take a little breather here. Alright guys, I'm gonna hit this trail again. Still walking in the middle of this beautiful like canyon between these huge stones, boulders, mountains. All these broken down decaying trees absolutely beautiful really beautiful in here oh my gosh you can smell like the moisture and the moss and the forest the earth yeah this is a beautiful area I really like this I hope the camera is really picking up how majestic and gorgeous this forest is right here. Because it is very nice. Wow. Oh no, you guys, I think I took a wrong turn. <laughs> I've been occupied with some uh, family stuff I was dealing with on my phone and I think I never took the right turn to go up here to little Sai. All right, it is a weird day for me, you guys. Honestly, it is just a weird day. Like I said, I got some family stuff I'm dealing with on the side too, so my mind's been a little bit preoccupied and I think I just walked past the right turn I was supposed to take. Grr. Okay. Well, maybe we shoot a little bit of a dance video here. 
little flow video with my nunchucks because this place is gorgeous. And if you guys want to follow my little nunchuck videos that I do, you're more than welcome to follow me on Instagram. And I got links below. You can watch my my new artistic venture of playing with my nunchucks and doing creative things with them, dancing with them. It's pretty fun. So let's see what we can what we can get here. I like the lighting over here. It is fun. We gotta move. Okay, so Otter and I are trying to kind of run back through a lot of this to make up time. And I'm gonna try to run up the hill a little bit also to try to make up time. Because I really want this video to be complete and not have the summit because I ran around in the forest in a big circle the whole time. <laughs> ah, good times. Okay, so this is where I Oh, didn't do this correctly. I went Boulder Garden this way, and I should have went that way. Okay, 1.4 miles. Let's go. We're back on track, you guys. Oh my gosh. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Look at that. Oh, if I wasn't running late, I would have to shoot a video here. This is gorgeous. So apparently up here there's a little climbing mountain. Wow. Oh, I gotta walk through this though. Oh my gosh. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at this, beautiful. So amazing. Look at this. Some people up there climbing on the side there. I don't think you guys can see them, but oh, so cool. Is that a cave right there? Let's investigate. I gotta check it out. Really cool. This is just amazing. Let's see what we can do to capture me and this magnificent scenery. I do photography as well and in the future you guys will see me getting out my good camera and doing specific shoots specific places as I travel around and vlog and stuff but right here as I see this I want to break this branch off and then I want to lay down a model right there on the side of it so let's pretend 
right there. You're the photographer and you're looking. This isn't the best angle, but it will give you an idea. Okay. Bring this down, break this off as well. I won't right now. Something like that. Why haven't you given your father a hug? I need a hug. Come here. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. He's not about to love right now. Okay, you want to rage? Let's rage. Wow, you guys, people are really up here just climbing. Doing so good, too. Look at that. That's amazing. What a beautiful place to climb. Seriously. So if you're somebody who's into climbing, you should definitely check out Little Mount Sai. That's so cool. I've climbed some stuff in my day and it takes a special type of person to be able to remain cool, calm, and collective in those situations. I have been running this whole time. We're almost up to the top now. Oh my gosh, such a good workout. Oh. Just wanted to give you a little sneak peek of what this hike looks like at this phase. It's looking good, coming together. All right, almost there. Almost to the top. Oh my god. It's beautiful up here. No joke. No joke. Coming up on a little viewpoint here. Oh. So nice. Yes. excited for this I needed this so bad you guys oh I've been in the city city's not a good place for Will Brown art I mean I love it too but I gotta get out here and stand on a mountain from time to time you know yes. so nice you guys gorgeous I'm pumped all right, let's go see what the top looks like and I might come back here and do a little flow video. Let's go. Come on, Otter. Good boy. Okay, so as we continue to climb, more viewpoints over there. But I'm looking for the one main one. I believe this is it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yep, this looks like it. Come on, up, 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 up. Good boy. It's nice up here. I like it, guys. I'm gonna sit down, feed Otter some water, relax, eat some food, and we'll get you guys some more footage. Good boy, you ready for some water? Yeah, he doesn't bite, he's just high energy. They can, yeah. yeah. Nope. Look at that smile. I know, he's happy. Are you happy, Otter? Good boy. He's made a friend. Good boy. Oh, look, there's a blue jay. It's a bird. Okay, okay, cool. This is what I'm looking for, is like a spot I can come and actually sit. I think I'm gonna head down there. There's just too many people up here on the actual tip.
It's definitely nice. All right, guys, so we are just climbing down from the top right now. There's really no good, good views and places to hang out at the top. I feel it's a little bit crowded today and there's some trees that are covering up some of the views. So we're gonna climb down right over here, hang out down here, a little bit more open. I like it, it's beautiful. Maybe we can get some footage right here, the nunchucks. Super cool. But let's hang out for a minute because I want to eat this dragon fruit and vibe because this place is gorgeous. Just got a mountain goat it real fast. And find a place to chill. Look what I got you guys. This right here is a dragon fruit. I love these things been craving them as of recently and I figured what better place to eat a dragon fruit but on top of a mountain so we're about to eat this thing and uh, there's a few different ways you can do it but I'm just gonna go like this bite into it and peel this off this thing's not super ripe so when they get really ripe they're really soft let's look at that let's peel that Ooh, I'm sorry otter I mean to hit you with the dragon fruit so we're just gonna open up this little magical dinosaur egg here. Just gonna peel all this. So good. Mm. What do you think, Otter? You like the dragon fruit too? Oh. <laughs> I don't think he's a big fan of the dragon fruit. I'm telling you, everything tastes better on top of a mountain after a big hike. I should make a YouTube channel where I just hike up to the top of mountains and eat foods because oh, it's so good. Hmm. Look at this big bird right there. See it? Better watch out for otter. Wow. That's so cool. Oh, there's a bunch of them. There's another one right there. It's got a red head. Do you know what kind of bird that is? Like a buzzard or something like that? <clears throat> Let me know in the comments below. Oh, there's 
There he is right there. Maybe they're waiting for something to die. There's another one right there. Wow. Good boy. Oh, good boy, Otter. Oh, you got a scratchy belly. Sorry, I'm trying to give you guys this footage here. Oh my gosh, look at it go. Damn, the bird is just soaring. Who is this? <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Look at you, man. Are you so happy? Nothing makes him more happy than coming up and raging in the mountains. Oh, oh. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy, Otter. <laughs> With his scratchy belly. Okay, now there's like four of them. Oh my gosh. We got a whole show, Otter. We got a whole show. You're cute as a button, bro. Wow. Look at this guy. This is amazing. How cool is this? Let's get an aerial show. What amazing birds. Oh, you guys just missed it. Oh, I had the camera off because I'm trying to switch the battery. Look, these things are just coming so close. That bird just flew like right next to me. It was amazing. We got 4% battery though, so I'm trying to switch it real fast. Rusty? Oh, you excited? Oh, you knocked over your water, Otter. Oh, you pumps? This is sick of sitting here. Okay, you wanna go shoot some footage? Yeah, you wanna go shoot some? You wanna fight? You wanna fight me? Good boy. All right, you guys, so this is what I'm thinking. The ground here is not flat enough for me to really flow with my nunchucks, and I would like to just kind of play around a little bit more while I'm out here. So I'm thinking maybe going to that little cliff right there because the sun is over here in the west and that's east. And if I line up with that cliff with the camera right there, I might be able to get a good shot where the sun will be on me with that going east and that's whole side of the mountain range um, open for, for the view. And that might do good. We'll see once I get down there. It might just be a little too steep right there. So I think we're gonna we're gonna try climbing down there and just explore real fast and see what we can do. So, yeah, let's go. These birds are still flying around, so I need to keep Otter close to me, though. See one right there. Good boy. We ain't gonna let anything happen to you, huh, friend? What the heck? Looks like someone was eating a dragon fruit out here. It's strange. Okay, so we wanna be careful. Anytime you're climbing around cliffs and you start getting loose gravel like this, you always wanna be careful where you put your feet. Make sure you have good grip. And we're just going to climb down a little bit here. Down to the side of these cliffs. And kind of look at that. That actually might be a good shot. Like that. And then me on the, the ledge right there. I'm going to tuck Otter behind those bushes right there where the birds can't get to him. I'll be right next to him. And yeah, that might work. So let's see if we can't set that up. So I'd be on the ledge right there. And then we have the expanse. And I'll just be vibing, doing my thing. Let me climb down there.
All right, you guys, we got a brand new adventure and that is to climb down this mountain. My nunchucks, I just lost them right down there. So I'm gonna have to climb down like that to get there, I think. See the little path right there? I think that should do it. If it's too steep right there, it's not, it'll be okay, we'll be okay. I need to get my nunchucks right there. Hey, I was crouched down really low and I did a spin, it hit my leg and bounced off. Okay, Otter, let's go get my nunchucks. It's gonna be a cool video though, it was worth it. Come on, buddy. Okay. Always an adventure with Will Brown Art. I do need to get a camera person on me though. So when these things happen, I don't have to try to film get good shots, angles, and, you know, be safe and all that. Climb. It's kind of a lot to do in person, but as long as Otter's safe, that's the only thing I care about. Okay, so there's a nice little path that goes right down here, and Otter and I have traversed this kind of stuff plenty of times before. We'll be just fine. So, I'm gonna do because this is just good TV or entertainment or whatever. So I'm gonna put you right there. Okay. And then, got otter on here. So I think the trick when you're doing this stuff is always keep three to four points of contact. Never, never just start walking on two feet or something because it's so easy to trip and fall. Keep yourself close against the wall. The joys of uh, shooting your own content. Look at Otter down there. A little sweet pea. Okay, so now we're doing three points of contact and we're watching all the loose gravel and rocks because that's not good footing. Okay. Isn't Otter an amazing dog? He just, he's, He's just built for my lifestyle. Good boy. Okay, now let's take this goat trail around here. Come on, Otter. Goat trail time. This is the last time you were on a good goat trail, buddy. Let's see what other obstacles we have here. All right, we're gonna be okay. Three points contact, watch for loose gravel, find your little footing, stay calm, breathe, be a mountain goat. Three points, three points. Hope you guys enjoy Will Brown art. There are many adventures. All right, now here's a, here's a nice challenge. So you can either walk all the way around, because I think it's right there, or you can try to climb over this. Normally, I would climb over this. I got a good spot right here, and I would just take you guys with, but because there's birds, and this is more of an open area, I can't bring Otter on this one, so we're gonna go down and around. Come on, bud. But this I have to be careful about, because now we're getting into gravel, and dirt and so it becomes loose so i got my right hand on the the side of the mountain right now it's more than likely some of this is gonna some of that's falling apart slip out 
and then if you do start falling sometimes it's best just to kind of shuffle with it and keep your weight back allow yourself to slide a little bit and look for the spot where you're gonna catch yourself like that Ooh, rocks rocks ah. making trails okay we're okay otter's tough i'm tough oh my gosh definitely gonna have to do some rock climbing to get it now it's super important that i'm super careful and that i don't do this when i'm tired take a minute to breathe get the blood back in my hands i'm gonna climb up right here and i'm gonna go up this right there and the nunchucks are right there that's not too hard it's not too difficult but i am out here away from help so i do want to be very careful hopefully you guys can see that good enough okay stay here otter i love you we'll be right back We made it. Okay, now we're gonna start the process of climbing back up and nunchucks retrieved. Good boy, Otter, good boy. There they are, right there. It's a good little climb. All right, not too bad. It was fun. Okay, here we go. Now it's time to get back up, okay, buddy boy? Let's go. Man. I swear, this dog is so cool. He's he's so good out here. He just gets it. He understands, okay, we're doing hard crap, and it's dangerous, and I just need to listen to, to my dad and push through, and he doesn't complain or whine or fall apart. Look at him. He's just like, all right, which path should I take? So proud of you, Otter. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him some mountain goat skills. Good boy. too long. We made it. Okay. Now just, okay, we made it. Now just up this. Good boy. 
Good boy, Otter. You've earned your dinner tonight, boy. All right, you guys, we're headed back down. So sometimes this is one of the most exciting things in all my videos happen is on the way back down. So stay tuned, keep watching, because who knows what could happen on the way back down. But one thing I do want to say is that after running up this and then climbing all that, my legs are, they're feeling it. And normally my legs don't feel it. Normally I just go crazy out here, but I've been in the city getting soft, doing a bunch of art. Art is great. I'm an artist, by the way. If you want to follow my Instagram, my art Instagram, look at my art or commission me for some amazing abstract painting or surreal painting or whatever kind of painting, I can just about do it all. Uh, I primarily work with acrylics and resin pours, and but I've been all over the place as an artist and art teacher back in the day and all kinds of stuff. So uh, check out my art. But that being said, my legs aren't accustomed to taking such a beating because I haven't been out doing too many vlogging adventure videos like I would like to. So I'm feeling a little bit, but that's good. It's making me stronger. So we're gonna see what kind of trouble we can get into on the way back, but I do have to get back to Seattle fairly quickly. So we'll see, we'll see what happens here. That was a good one, you guys. Ow. Found that stream on the way back. Just gonna dip my feet in it, feels so good. It's not really a good spot for me to lay down in it, and it's really, really shallow, so I'm just gonna stick my feet in here. But, oh man, it's so nice. Otter's just hanging out over there looking at stuff it's beautiful out here having a great time you guys ah this day kind of started out weird and uh, sometimes that happens in our lives and we just got to kind of get back to basics sometimes and things that make us feel alive and good and just remember that we're so blessed to be alive you know and happiness isn't found in anything or anyone or really any place it's really just found in you and you kind of surrendering to the journey and not being so preoccupied with the future or the past but setting goals achieving goals and feeling the success and the purpose and the meaning that goes with that but being able to be present and enjoy the moment and be thankful and grateful for what you have. <sighs> and I'm thankful for this day. I needed this. I'm thankful to be out here. I'm thankful for this river. I'm thankful for these rocks. I'm thankful for you, Mr. Otter. Where are you at? Where's my son? Why haven't you given your father a hug all day long? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Otter. It's a good day, guys. Okay guys, so we made it back to the car. It was a wonderful, amazing hike and adventure. Thank you so much for joining me on Will Brown Art. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the like button and check out the links in the description below. It'd mean a lot. You know, I got like Instagram and Patreon and children's books and TikTok and all kinds of stuff. You're more than welcome to follow me on all those things. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. I'm ready to get some food and to rest and chill. And I'm excited about the footage we got today though. All right, bye guys.